The children of Arima now have a new primary school to call their own. Minister in the Ministry of Education, the Honorable Lisa Morris Julian, said that this new school is designed with the development needs of the children foremost in mind. At the Ministry of Education, we recognize that the modern, upgraded, and technologically sound environments play a role in quality in education. As such, the city was approached to getting our public learning environments up to standard is of great importance. The eventual return to face-to-face -face learning is in our current context. We know it will take some adjusting. At the ministry, we have been working to ensure that our children and stakeholders are provided with the relevant tools in the meantime. Education Minister Dr. The Honorable Nyan Gatsby Dolly added that coupled with the environment, the care with which the staff tends to the students adds so much to the learning environment. As I read the report of the acting principal, Mrs. Annalisa Thomas Aching, on the Malabar GPS School, and as I listened to Minister Morris Julian speak, it is evident that the principal and staff of Malabar Government Primary ensure that our students here are always well served and that their education is never compromised. In her own words, and that's the words of the acting principal, as a staff and student body, we engender a sense of school family into our students. And Prime Minister of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, Dr. The Honorable Keith Rowley, noted that pandemic or not, the education needs of the children will always be met by his administration. These schools that we are completing and taking responsibility for, even without students today, but in the hope that soon this yard will be filled with our juniors and their teachers and all those who bring them here. We know that we take this empty school in the full knowledge that our future is assured even as we grapple with a pandemic. This was a production of Government Communications.